In this video we're going to look at the flight of a rocket and the forces acting on that rocket during the different stages of its journey. So the first stage of our rocket's journey is it being stationary on the launch pad. When it's stationary on the launch pad there is a downwards force pulling it towards the earth. That downwards force is gravity. If this was the only force acting on the rocket, the rocket would start to move downwards. Um, if there's a resultant force, then the rocket moves in that direction. However, there is also another force, and it is this upwards one, and it's a reaction force from the surface stopping the rocket moving down. So as the rocket pushes down onto the surface, the surface reacts and pushes the rocket back upwards with the same size force. Therefore, the rocket doesn't move, it's completely stationary and still. The second stage of our rocket's journey is that it starts to launch. So again, we have a downwards force of gravity holding the rocket back. That um, force that we had at the beginning, that upthrust reaction force from the, the ground, has now been replaced with a larger force arrow. This is representing the upwards thrust generated by the fuel. So this force is slightly larger that's going to overcome this downwards force of gravity that rocket is going to start moving upwards. And we can have a quick look at why we have this big upwards force, what causes this force to occur. The rocket is pushing out fuel so there is a downwards force of the fuel being pushed out. Please note that this force is not the same as gravity. Okay, This force here represents the size of the force that's pushing the fuel from the bottom of the rocket. Okay, This is not a force that would pull the rocket down. At the same time as that, you have another force, a reaction force, caused by the fuel being ejected. So as the fuel is ejected, the rocket is then pushed upwards. It's a reaction to the fuel leaving. Every force must have an equal and opposite reaction. So as this fuel's leaving, there's an upwards push that's going to make the rocket move. Note that these two forces are the same size. This force here is the same as this one. So the upwards reaction force to the fuel leaving is the upthrust of the rocket. Okay, This force of gravity is not the same as this one though. Our rocket is now accelerating upwards. So we've got that upthrust, the reaction force to the fuel leaving, we've got our downwards force of gravity. We're going to assume during the course of this rocket's flight that the mass of the rocket stays the same. In reality it will get lighter as the fuel leaves but we're going to assume the mass stays the same and then gravity will stay the same. We also have another force acting on the rocket in the downwards direction. This force is air resistance. The rocket's accelerating so it's getting faster going upwards. As it gets faster this force of air resistance is going to start to get bigger. So our next stage is our rocket then starts to travel at constant speed. So we still have that upwards force there, we still have our downwards force of gravity, and we still have air resistance. Note that air resistance is now bigger than it was before. This is the size of air resistance before, quite small. The rocket's got faster and faster and faster. As it does so, the speed of the air hitting the rocket increases therefore air resistance gets bigger. These forces are now balanced. If you add these two forces up they equal the size of this one. So our rocket now travels at a constant speed. Okay. Stage 5 then is the fuel from our rocket has run out. So this is right at the stage where that happens. So we've completely lost that upwards force generating that upwards motion. So we've now got our force of gravity and our force of air resistance in play. There are no upwards forces at all, so our rocket is going to start to decelerate very quickly in this direction. So it's still moving upwards at this stage, but it's going to start to slow down very, very quickly because these are the only two forces acting on it. In stage 6, the rocket is right at the peak of its flight, so it's just reached the peak and it's about to now stationary start returning to Earth. The only force acting on the rocket in these circumstances is the force of gravity. So the rocket is pretty much stationary, it's not moving at all, it's just about to be taken and caught to be come back down. Okay, It's going to start to accelerate very quickly in this downwards direction as it gets faster and faster.